Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens and today I want to talk about Eboya fountain pens. Let's take a look. Okay, here we have some Eboya fountain pens. Now Eboya is made by the Nico Ebonite Company out of Tokyo, Japan. And these pens, uh, obviously they're all made out of Ebonite and they're handmade. Uh, they can take six months to make, so uh, getting them can be a challenge, but we have several of them here. This here is the Yatate series, and if you look at these, you notice a very distinct, unique shape. Uh, they actually, they resemble uh, bamboo, so they have kind of scalloped shape to it. Um, these come in a couple, I have them in a couple of colors and a couple of sizes. You can see here on the left we have a large and then a medium size. Now there is also a small size and an oversize. Uh, for now these are the only ones that we have. So again large and medium. Uh, on the left we have the Akabono Red and on the right the Kaze Blue and the blue is kind of a blue green a tealish color uh, more so than a blue. But let's take a look. Um, very nice finish and if I hold it up here you can see where they scallop out to make it look like bamboo. It has a very interesting effect on the ebonite. And a nice gold plated clip, very kind of understated. On the top you can see where it all comes together. It almost makes a Looks like a little flower there, so. Um, these are screw caps. And they come with 14 karat Bach gold nibs. Um, so, nice and a very plain, simple, simple design on that Bach nib. It really doesn't say much. Uh, on the back, we can take a look at the feed. Nice full comb feed. Now these are cartridge converter pens. Uh, pen comes with a cartridge, it does not come with a converter. They do recommend the Pelican International Converter. You can also use these as eyedroppers since there is no metal section or metal of any kind. Put a little silicone grease on here. Uh, you maybe even squeeze a thin O-ring on there, but it's, it's pretty, a pretty good tight fit there and you've got a nice big barrel full of ink. Um, we've got a nice tasteful imprint here, Eboya, made in Tokyo. Um, nib unit is threaded so you can unthread that for ease of cleaning, just comes right out. And uh, let's take a look at post. It posts really well um, and the, the large is a very large pen. As you can see, I'm, I've got large hands. Uh, I have to hold this one a little bit further back in order for it to balance a little properly. Um, this is approaching seven inches long. It's a very, very large pen. Uh, if we take a look at the medium and the Kaze Blue. Now the, the medium size uses a smaller size nib than the large. You can see it's a hair here smaller. Same 14 karat Bach nib. Uh, this one in the hand unposted is a nice length, but you add this cap on there and it's, uh, it is a little bit long, but it's, it's lighter, so it's, uh, you know, it's good for, gonna be good for a lot of people, so. Um, the green, this one happens to have a really pronounced almost a star, really unintentional the way that, that comes together. Um, nice, nice looking pens. Like I say, they're all handmade. They take at least six months to, to make. Um, we certainly can make, get any pen in any configuration for you, any size, nib width. Uh, if we don't have it in stock, it would be a special order, but we can get it. But this is the large Kaze Blue Yatade. And uh, look at this on the cap. Is that not spectacular? Nice. There. Now we also have uh, a second model 
called a Kiyuka. And this is modeled after uh, vintage Onoto from the 1920s and 1930s. And uh, for vintage fans, you're going to see this quite evidently. You've got some, some crosshatch pattern here, some ribbing right here in the section. These are screw caps. This is a Shinryu beige color. Uh, hold this up. And you can see it's a really lovely, lovely color. Again, marked on the barrel, Iboya, made in Tokyo. Uh, this, has, this is the small size, and it has the small Bach 14 karat nib. And this does post. And this is a really, really super pen. I like this one a lot. It's clipless. Um, you can hold it down here, or if it's comfortable for you, but it's really a very nice feeling pen and those of you who have had ebonite pens before you know they feel really nice they warm up in your hand um, and uh, they're very comfortable to hold and again cartridge converter uh, put a little silicone on there and you've got yourself a nice big big eyedropper here so there will be more eboya pens uh, in the future so Stay tuned for those, but in the meantime, we've got the Itade and the Cayuca in stock now, and we will be taking these to shows. So there we have it, the Eboya series of fountain pens. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com, in our store in Appleton, Wisconsin, or any of a number of pen shows nationwide.